On the Ethereum blockchain, there are two kind of addresses. One kind is for smart contracts and the other kind is called EOA. That's very important to understand the difference. So let's see how this works. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development on Ethereum. So let's start with smart contract addresses. Smart contract address uniquely identify a smart contract on the blockchain. Each smart contract address is associated to four different fields. The first one is called the nonce. That's an integer that is incremented every time the address sends a new transaction. So just after the smart contract is deployed, the nonce is equal to zero. Then after the smart contract send its first transaction, the nonce would be one, etc., etc. The second field is the ether balance of this smart contract. If you send ether to this smart contract, its ether balance is going to increase. However, if the smart contract send some of its ether to another address, its ether balance is going to decrease. The next field is the code of the smart contract. So when you program a smart contract in Solidity, this code is going to be stored inside this code field on the blockchain. And the last field is called the data field. That's where we're gonna store all the storage variable of the smart contract. It's important to understand that we only store the storage variable. The memory variables are just in memory and are not stored on the blockchain. So now what about the other kind of address? It's called EOA for externally owned address. For example, when you and me create an Ethereum address, that's an EOA address. The big difference with a smart contract address is that for EOA address, we have an associated private keys to sign transactions. So with an EOA address, if you know the private key, then you can create any transaction you want. You can call any function on any smart contract. However, for a smart contract address, there is no private key. All a smart contract can do is react to incoming transaction that execute some of its functions. All right, so let's get back to EOA address. So an EOA address also has four fields that are associated. These are exactly the same fields as for smart contract. So you have the nonce field, you have a balance. You also have a code field, even though there is no code associated to an EOA address. For EOA address, the code field is empty. And you also have a data field, and this is also empty. So it might be tempting to consider that an EOA address is for humans, but in some cases, it can be slightly more complex because, for example, you can create an EOA address with a private key and give this private key to some program outside of the blockchain. And so in this case, that's a program that control an EOA address. But in most cases, humans will control EOA addresses. So I really love to dig really deep into how blockchain and Ethereum work. And that's why I've actually created a full playlist on the topic. I'll see you there.